did you see the video of, of the women coming out of the lingerie shop and the Irish fan cheering them? Um, actually, I made that video. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we'll try and be a bit more expansive if we can, try and uh, uh, deal with the ball a wee bit better, um, if that's the case. But we'll know, we're going to try and win a game. We have, to, we have to find a way to win the match. And these players have been able to do that in the last couple of years. I think you have to try and cover all eventualities, but I think that uh, I mean, it only takes a second to score a goal. So the minute the goal scored in the game, that um, eradicates a lot of things, eradicates... Um, it eradicates extra time, it eradicates penalty kicks and things like that. So uh, we're going to try and score a goal. We, we may need a couple of goals at the game as well too because to keep out Denmark for, for two games might be, a, might be tough. Over there, the, I think the onus was on the home side to try and, uh, and break the opposition down. That may well be the case for us tonight, or sorry, tomorrow night, but there's, they'll, I think there'll probably be a bit more room for, uh, for teams to exploit. I mentioned, we just mentioned the players like Ericsson. Good players can always find a little bit of space. And, um, well, uh, hopefully we've learned something for the game. Perhaps Denmark might have learned as well too. I think the game's really in the balance. I said that the other night and I have no reason to change my mind, having watched the game back again. It's in the balance and anything can happen.